Hey guys, uh, it's Vase here again. <clears throat> Just wanted to give you a quick update on uh, my Achilles tendon rupture. Uh, so I'm in the middle of uh, week eight uh, and nine post-op. Uh, today today is the 8th of December 2019. Um, I wanted to try to get in a little bit earlier, um, but I've had a couple of Hectic two weeks, um, personal matters, um, family law battle, whatnot. But um, continuing on from my last video um, and the progress that I was making at week six, um, where I was talking about uh, the the fact that I was starting to do some calf raises, two footed calf raises. Not long after I um, I posted that video onto YouTube. Um, that weekend, actually, I noticed uh, a bit of swelling uh, around the the scar tissue. Um, started my foot started getting a bit sore and whatnot, um, and it was recommended that I go see a doctor. Um, and it was discovered that I had a slight infection, so I was put on antibiotics. I sort of backed off uh, the exercises for a couple of days. Uh, but within within about a five day period, um, that was all under control. So that was a week and a half ago. Uh, but since then, I've sort of just been doing, you know, been visiting the physio on a weekly basis. Still, um, just getting some you know uh, scar tissue sort of massage put through the area, um, which has been good for the for the for the healing process, I guess. Um, I wanted to also let you guys know I did look up the name of the procedure that I had. So the name of the procedure is Mid Substance Speed Bridge Implant System. So that was the um, that was the uh, type or the method uh, of the procedure that was that was done on my Achilles. Um, which, if you followed or listened to my last video. Um, I sort of explained how they did that, but I'm um, looked that up. Mid substance speed bridge implant system. Um, it is a newer type of um, method of you know attaching the Achilles um, by you know implanting wires into your into your heel bone as well. So, like I said, it's this is week eight, eight and a half, um, and some progress again. Um, some progress again this week. Um, I've been walking around inside the house um, without my boot, without the moon boot, which has been okay. I mean, the Achilles is really tight, uh, but I've been sort of, you know, using the towel method and and the the, uh, the band that that physio gives you. Been stretching the Achilles out a little bit. Uh, been walking around, like I said, and yesterday I sort of, um, you know, got a bit. Uh, courageous or whatever you want to call it and I was in the city and I decided to put on a shoe because yesterday morning I also took my dog for a walk with runners on for the first time you know taking it really careful obviously I don't want to damage the thing again because there was, it's you don't want to do it again but um like I said um I am pretty sort of I do push myself probably a little bit too much sometimes but um I took it for a good 15 minute walk and it was okay um and then yesterday, I uh, went out to the city, and walked around in the city, um, done a couple of things, and uh, I took my boot with me, the moon boot, in the car, um, because after about an hour or so, my, my muscles around my left side started to get really tired, especially um, down the front of your shin. Um, I'm not sure what that muscle is called there, but um, it started to get really tight, tight and um, tired, sort of like shin splints almost feeling. So, you know, I put my boot back on and I'll, you know, I spent the rest of the sort of evening uh, while we're at dinner with the moon boot. Um, I did, however, see the physio this week as well. And um, she said everything's looking good. She sort, of, she sort of, you know, she she now told me to start doing the two-footed um, calf raises, which, which I have been anyway uh, for the last, you know, five, six days again. Um, and it's starting to, I mean, look, there, there is a difference between the two legs, obviously, and, you know, I'm still a long way from recovering, but um, just wanted to sort of give you an update as to where I am. Um, and now that I'm not in the car and driving, I thought um, I'll also sort of try and show you 
my scar area or whatever you want to call it. Um, give me a sec. So as you can see, it's down the back of the leg. Um, that's where the cut is. That's where, I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's where the one screw went into the heel. And just there is where the other screw went into the other heel as well. So that's where the uh, scar tissue is and whatnot. So but I also wanted to show you something. I wanted to try and show you anyway. <clears throat> Just as far as, you know, me sort of walking around and getting around or, you know, the difference in size uh, of, of the leg muscles as well. But I'll try and show you this. Um, I'm not the best at making these videos, so forgive me if I'm being annoying or whatever. But um, so this is the leg that's been injured. Um, these muscles here haven't really been used a lot, so it's a bit hard to sort of get that muscle going again, um, which has been really frustrating. Uh, that's sort of me tensing it, as opposed to sort of this leg here, you know, where most of the most of the sort of weight's been on. You see, it's more up here, you know, that, that sort of loss of muscle on this leg. Um, but I'm also, I'll try to show you my calves. So, this is the end of the leg. So I'll stand up here and do a calf race for you. So I can do these with basically no pain. Uh, like I said, in the shower. But it'll be interesting for me to see this video as well. And as far as walking is concerned, I can sort of, I walk backwards and forwards. The Achilles is a bit tight, so I've just been doing, you know, sort of stretching through the, the Achilles and whatnot on both legs. Yeah, so, <clears throat> like I said, I just wanted to sort of give you guys an update. Not, not on me personally, it's not about, you know, me as such. I mean, this will be a good memory for me, but for the, I know what it was like when I've done my injury first and I was stressing. Um, there was a lot of you know, scarier stories out there, um, and I just wanted to sort of, I don't know, my, my, my experience, even though it's been over two months, um, nearly three months actually, um, I, I think I'm tracking along quite well, and I, I do think it does have a lot to do with this uh, mid-substance speed bridge implant system, um, the method they've used, so... Um, that's basically it. Uh, so I'll try to give you another update in two weeks. So I'm walking, you know, I can walk without my shoe even though the orthopedic surgeon hasn't told me to take it off yet. Uh, I have taken off the moon boot for now, but I'm gonna just be extra careful obviously. I'll wear my moon boot um, still at work and whatever, but um, in the house and that, I'm just gonna walk and just get the muscles going. Um, uh, but yeah, if there's any questions or whatever likes or subscriptions to the channel, you know, feel free to do so. Um, and, you know, I hope to keep you updated in a couple of weeks and give you some more positive news, I guess. Uh, otherwise, have a good day.